Children of I Want to Talk to Your Manager Parents, what has been your most embarrassing experience? Also, hi, my name is Bumfries. I make Reddit videos. Subscribe. Thanks. I was 13 when this happened. My mum had made a reservation at a hotel for a trip, but when she got there, the lady said that there was some error with the reservation and that my mum's payment didn't go through. So the lady offered us a double bedroom for a discount. Rather than just taking the room, thanking the lady and leaving, my mum decided that the best course of action would be to scream in the middle of a hotel lobby, nobody is going anywhere until I get my effing room. She then proceeded to pester the lady who clearly couldn't do anything about it until eventually she called the police on my mum for public disturbance. It was mortifying. Yeah, this lady acting crazy, but I'm about to start a tally that shows how many times we come across a story that reflects something that's happened in my own life. And whoops, that's number one already. One time, my granddad got a sausage roll at a football match during half time. When he got back to his seat, he found that it was overdone and the pastry was quite burnt. The man was irate. He didn't take it back straight away as the second half was about to start, but he spent much of the second half angrily lamenting his savory snack letdown. So he takes it home, calls the customer service number on the back, I assume he had a few choice words for the poor soul on the other end, but I wasn't present for this, and keeps the remainder of the sausage roll in the freezer for the next couple of weeks. Skip ahead to the next match day, my granddad tells me that we're heading out early so he can have his sausage roll. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get through this. So he can have his sausage roll replaced. The customer service line told him to go to kiosk 3 at the front of the ground next to the ticket office. When we arrive however, the shutters are down at the food place. The old man looks around growling and turning red in the face. He stamps right over to window number 3 of the ticket office and slams his frozen burnt sausage roll down like an effing flaky gauntlet. At this point, I'm trying to convince him that the ticket office was a completely different department to the catering concession, but my granddad was having none of it. The lady working the ticket window continually attempted in vain to convince him the same, that they sell match tickets, not hot snacks, but this just got him angrier and angrier. Across came a colleague behind the glass, and now there's just two people to rage at. Then, a head steward comes to attempt to defuse the situation, and my granddad begins to wave the burnt sausage in the man's face. I was actually surprised that he didn't whack him with it. At this point, I'm mortified by the whole affair, wishing that I'd stayed back at the house until the nearer kickoff. Eventually, after an hour or so, the shutters come up on the food concession. Feller at the counter goes, you must be Mr. Allerginge, and calmly resolves the situation, dispatching a freshly baked sausage roll with the steady hands of a surgeon. My granddad is completely satisfied with the result of his hour-long insolent rage, and as we're walking away, he turns to me and says, that's how you get these things sorted. First, I just want to say thank goodness this is not one that I can add to my tally because if I had to deal with something like this, I probably just have gone home and been like, Gramps, I'm the hell out of here, I ain't dealing with this no more. When I was a young child on a long distance flight, my mother let me and my brother sleep on the floor. For safety reasons, the flight attendant told my mother that we were not allowed to sleep on the floor. She started to argue with the flight attendants who then turned to the pilots. The pilots threatened to turn the plane around unless we get up from the floor, but she continued to argue. The pilots then announced that we were about to turn around because of my mother, so all the passengers got pissed. Eventually she caved in when she had all the passengers and flight crew on a Boeing 747 against her. I like that a parent got hit with the I will turn this thing around card. She got out mummed. Man, these people out here doing my commentary for me, I don't even need to do anything. I'll just rely on the comments from now on. I was with my parents on vacation and the hotel put charges on the bill by accident. My mum marched to the front desk and demanded to see the manager. There was a long line, but she cut right in front of it. The manager wasn't very helpful, but it was probably because she was rude. So my mum went to all the other customers in line and told them that the hotel was a scam and they were ripping us off with fake charges. She made a scene. The hotel called the police and we were escorted off the premises by actual cops. I died inside. Well, as much as this sucks to say, but let's add that as number two to my list. I mean, to be fair, it wasn't quite as bad. My parents didn't go through to the line and tell every single person that they were getting scammed, but my parents weren't very happy about some charges they weren't told about, and I'll tell you, every single staff member there knew about it. Ugh, my dad. He can be such a prick if you get his order wrong. It could be fast food or a nice sit down restaurant. He often yells at wait staff if they undercook his steak. It has to be well done or he claims to have lost his appetite. One time we went to Burger King when I was younger and we sat down to eat. He took one bite of his burger, spit it out and immediately started bitching about it being undercooked. He cut in front of everyone in line to yell at the cashier, then he asked who was the cook. 
When the cook appeared, he launched his burger, hitting the poor kid directly in the face with a lidless burger. He's now banned for life from Burger King. Like, what do I even say about this? I mean, he, he threw a burger at a dude over the counter. Like, how much better can a story get, right? Good luck topping something as bad as that entitled parents. My dad just loved to argue and he loved to deal. We were shopping in a department store and I found a pair of pants that I was mildly interested in. The pants were tagged at let's say $40 and the sign on the rack was all pants $25. I was mildly interested and I asked the sales clerk if they had them in my size. The clerk says those aren't supposed to be on that rack. My dad proceeds to lose his crap and insisted on getting the pants for $25 and he started asking for a courtesy discount on top of that. He escalated to the floor manager and the store manager. Meanwhile, I didn't even want the pants. They were okay pants I guess, nothing awesome, I just didn't care very much about them. I was more than happy to move on and I told my dad that I didn't want the pants, but by then he didn't care about what I wanted, he just wanted the pants at a better price. Eventually, after like an hour of arguing, the store manager said, when not giving you the pants for that price, take them or leave them at $40. So we left, which suited me just fine because I didn't really want the pants. Yeah, that one's uh, that's strike three for me already. I feel like at this point, I might as well have written all the posts in this because quite frankly, they're basically based off my life. But hey, anything for that bargain, right? My mother-in-law is truly a Karen. Going out to eat with her is always a nightmare. Her orders have 14 special requests, but she's not at all kind about it. She is defensive from the get-go like you're an idiot who's already screwed up the order. No dressing, not on the side, nothing completely dry. Do you understand? I will send it back. The one I will never forget though was dinner at Joe's Crab Shack. In case you've never been, it's one of those places that every so often plays a song that the entire staff is required to drop everything and do a little synchronized dance to. It's quick, everyone gets a little kick out of it, and it's part of the fun. Now, my mother-in-law Karen knew this and it's not like she'd never been here, but apparently she was not willing to wait an extra two minutes for her dry salad, so she starts going off as soon as the dancing starts. She gets a manager who clearly knows Karen well and offers a quick apology for doing their job, a discount, and her dry ass salad. But Karen was not completely satisfied. She tells us that even though dinner for our party of eight is on her, she's not tipping the waitress one penny. She proceeds to bitch loudly for the rest of the meal and antagonize our waitress over petty crap. I worked too many years in customer service and you know, I'm a decent human being. I made sure to get the bill separate so I could tip her for the entire table. I wrote a quick note on the receipt, something along the lines of, way to stay positive even when the customer's a jerk. I was a little afraid of the wrath of Karen and it was one of my first interactions with her too. But when the waitress came and hugged me, Karen and I locked eyes and she knew and I didn't care. Don't be a Karen. Karen actually sounds like the ideal person to hang out with if you want to get something for free, right? Like if you have absolutely no moral compass whatsoever and you're like, I'll get whatever I can take, well, Karen's your go-to person and I'm sure she can manage to get anything for any price. About once a month, my dad gets drunk and calls various customer service centers demanding stuff. Once he finally gets off the phone, which is frequently 45 minutes later, he spends the next few days telling us about how he slew the customer service dragon, and boy, people sure don't appreciate their customers nowadays. Blah, blah, blah. No duh, dad. You're being an a-hole and no one appreciates that. If you've worked for DirecTV customer service anytime since 1996, I apologize on behalf of my dad. I also remember one time where McDonald's was having some kind of two-for-one breakfast sandwich deal going on where the total was about $3. He gets his breakfast, drives 25 minutes to work, realizing he's missing one of his sandwiches, then proceeds to call the McDonald's customer support every evening after work for a week just to complain about his wasted $1.50. They gave him apologies, they gave him coupons, but he just wanted to yell. As an extension to this, have a listen to this story as well from an actual call center operator. I work in a call center and one of my coworkers spoke to a woman and explained a thing to her. I forget exactly what it was, but she supposedly told her something would be covered and it wasn't or something along those lines. The woman calls back super angry and escalates to a manager. My manager reviews the call and finds the woman was in fact told the correct thing. She is still angry and is insisting that she was told the wrong thing. My manager replies, are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Because I'm going to take you at your word, and if that's the case, the employee will lose his job. Someone is going to be fired over this if you are certain that that's what they told you. 
This woman did not give a crap and insisted that she was told the wrong thing. Some people are truly scum. The manager did not fire my coworker as she had proof that he was correct. She just wanted to see how far this woman was willing to take her lie. Man, if this ain't like daily life in a call center, I don't know what is. Like the amount of calls that I reviewed where customers were adamant that they knew like 100% that we told them wrong information and we pretty much never did. Like it just astounded me how many people thought they could get away with lying even though they knew for a fact that calls were recorded. Like I just don't get it. Okay, everyone, that is that for today's episode of Ask Reddit. We'll keep this outro nice and short because this is not part of our regular Reddit series. But just want to ask you guys for some feedback. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below. If you don't like this kind of video, also let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are a cool person, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Bumfries. I'm just like scrambling for excuses for reasons to get you guys to follow me, but just make sure you do it. It'll be a good time. Trust me. But yeah, that's it. Shortest outro I've probably ever done. So I'll wrap things up there. I really do hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Tomorrow is going to be another episode of Entitled Parents, of course. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope to see you guys there and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.